Hey guys, my 2023 kind of sucked, but that's okay. And I'm going to explain to you guys why it's okay to have a year where things don't really go your way, where you go through failures, um, you go through things that are challenging, and you, know, you deal with these various adversities that are, you know, sometimes depressing, sometimes just like frustrating. I just wanted to explain to you guys why that is all okay. So at the beginning of this year, I set out some goals for myself, you know. I mean, not really like big, like concrete goals, but like just sort of like general things I wanted to accomplish. Um, that's something I sort of do at the beginning of every new year. Um, and I didn't really accomplish any of those things this year. Um, I wanted to be more social, um, be more outgoing and, and comfortable around other people, um, which has sort of been a goal of mine the last few years. Um, and it's something while I've like improved on a little bit, it's something I haven't made nearly enough progress with regards to that, um, which has been at times very frustrating and depressing um, because you know it's not fun to spend a lot of time alone and I mean sometimes being alone is fun but you know too much alone time is not fun at all it's actually like depressing and sad not only did I not really accomplish any of my social goals in some ways, I actually took steps backwards this year because some of the progress that I had made, I've talked about this in prior videos, like struggling with anxiety and making friends and stuff like that. Um, this year, I sort of fell out of touch with people that I'd started to like develop a little bit of like friendships with um, and basically lost pretty much everyone. Like, a lot of people just sort of, like, disappeared from my life um, for one reason or another. I don't really want to, like, get too into it. Um, and it's not something I take, like, super personally. Or in the case of, you know, people that I sort of just decided to stop talking to, like, I don't want them to take it too personally. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, it's just been it's been difficult, like, realizing that friendships are very difficult. It's very difficult to have friendships, especially as an adult. Um, for one reason or another, like, they just fall apart so easily. And it's sad, but I'm thankful that now, like, if there's any, like, sort of progress I've made, like, it's that I feel like there's at least like one or two people like I really trust, even though um, I've sort of lost a lot of like other friendships that were maybe, I guess, I'm learning a little bit more shallow, you know, beyond just social stuff, because, you know, my issues go beyond just like friendships and stuff like that. Like, I know that's something I've talked about in past videos, like you go check those out if you haven't already, but beyond that, my issues this year largely revolved around just not really accomplishing anything and just going long periods of time where it was just every single day was just the same and nothing changed and everything was just so boring and tedious and like it just, you know, after a while it just gets so depressing when you're going through this motions every single day and nothing's changing. and that was a big issue for me this year was I just, in a lot of areas, just wasn't making any progress at all. And it was just so frustrating and just mentally just wore me down so much. And like beyond all that, like even my like taste in music was like a struggle this year. Um, I, if you guys see my shirt, like I'm wearing a 1975 shirt, like they're pretty cool. But um, like I got my Spotify wrapped this year and I was like, oh my god what am i listening to <laughs> like this is this is bad this is 
I need to like get my music taste back on track because this is this is a problem. <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, getting back to you know, I just wanted to like keep things lighthearted. Just wanted to throw something lighthearted in there, just because like you know this video is like kind of sad. But like, don't worry, it's gonna have like an optimistic turn at the end. So just like stay tuned. You know, there was just a lot of other stuff I dealt with this year that like didn't really work out and you know areas I felt like I sort of failed in you know I had like there were like some family issues without getting into it too much and you know if you guys have ever dealt with family issues you know those like can really take a toll on you and without getting into it too much you know those really weighed me down this year and had me in a sunken place at times like I'm not gonna lie so I've just really had to learn how to deal with all that stuff. Um, and then, you know, just being a man who's, you know, in the dating world, you know, and having, like, woman stuff that doesn't always, like, work out, you know, that that's just another thing that just, like, takes a toll. I mean, I know it's not, like, I know that's not something that's too, like, uh, distinctive like plenty of people go through that but nevertheless it was just sort of like another one of the things that um you know kind of weighed on me you know and had me you know reflecting all the time feeling like when things didn't work out like am i not good enough or is there something wrong with me and you know those kind of things so you know that was just another thing that was just weighed on me a lot again i'm sure plenty of you guys have probably dealt with stuff like that though um, but nevertheless, it, it, it sucks, you know? The bottom line is I failed a lot this year and I dealt with a lot of negative thoughts this year. I dealt with a lot of anxiety. I dealt with some depression. I went through some really difficult times this year, but what I'm trying to tell you guys is that is all okay because you know hard times build character I know it's like such a cliche but all the things that I dealt with this year that were difficult I feel like I learned a lot from those things and I you know gained a lot of valuable experiences even if I failed a lot and even if I went through some stuff that was extremely challenging I feel like I grew up a lot this year and, and matured a lot and I feel like there's a lot of things that I can take from this year that can help me have a much better year in 2024. You know something that's always helped me get through tough times um, and I've dealt with a lot of shit over the years um, like freshman year of high school, sophomore year of high school, those were shit. So those are probably like a low point for me, but one thing through it all that sort of like always helped me is just very simply just being optimistic and having a positive attitude and drawing from your experiences. Like even if your experiences are negative ones and, and they suck and everything just feels like it just sucks and life is terrible if you can draw something from those bad experiences that helps you in the future and you learn from those experiences, it goes a long way. And that's what I always try to do, no matter you know what it is that, that ended up sucking, like try to draw something from it that is like a positive. And you just, you have to stay positive, you know, that's, that's how you avoid going into like that deep depression. And there have been times where I've been really close to just like really, you know, going into that hole, like that sunken place and, and just being full on depressed. And I have been in that sunken place at times. And I guess the thing is, I've just always found ways to get out of that place. Um, and being optimistic is just a very big part of that. Um, but at a time this year when I was really low and really feeling down on myself, um, 
I managed to go to therapy, actually. Um, you know, like the Better Health Online Therapy. Like, you see it at first, and it's like, oh, that, that looks so stupid. Like, that, that's not, like, real. Like, therapy is like something where you go in person, and, and you see someone. And I was kind of just like, I don't know, that was just like my thought process. I was like, this is probably, like, not going to work. I was like, you know what, let me just like give it a shot. Let me see if it like helps me at all. Like at least I can just stay at home and like do it from my computer. I don't have to like drive over somewhere. <laughs> but, you know, I quickly realized like, you know, and it helps that I had like a really good ther therapist for it was like, oh, this is actually really helpful. Like I'm understanding my feelings and I'm understanding why I feel like total shit. And I'm understanding like how things can like, get better and like I'm like this is this is better this is better help like I um I don't know what I'm trying to say but like I'm just saying like it was really helpful like it really helped me like get myself back on track and um yeah guys like therapy like that's just something that's just I don't know people like make it like seem so like not okay to talk about your feelings but you know what like no one's gonna like this is something i heard from like juice world once like i'm like a big juice world fan like r.i.p juice world by the way but um i just remember in an interview him talking about like look no one's gonna like beat you up for talking about your feelings and you know that's something i quickly realized in therapy talking about my feelings and the things i was going through and when i had no one to talk to about that stuff and it was like the therapist was just so accepting and, and i was like understanding my feelings and, and everything was just becoming better and like I just it really helped pull me out of like a, a dark place in my life earlier this year like to be completely honest so yeah guys I mean I didn't have that great a year you know not a lot of like very memorable experiences I feel like um, a lot of failure um, went through some stuff that was just very mentally draining um but it all helped it all helped me become the person i want to be like i'm become coming closer and closer to becoming the person i want to be and i guess that's something that you know i'll i'm always continuing to try to become the better best version of myself um but i feel like i've made a lot of strides in that department this year even though my year sucked because major suckage builds character and you should just remember that like if your life sucks right now it's it's all part of your your character arc and it gets better from here right <laughs> so yeah guys i mean i'm just going to continue to try to learn and grow every day um 2023 it was tough for me I went through a lot of stuff that wasn't great, but you know what? I feel like I can draw a lot from it. And I hope you guys understand that too. And I hope you guys learn something from this video about like sort of, like I hope I at least like spread like some positive vibes and stuff. And hopefully like you guys took something away from this video. I don't know. I just felt like it was important to like, spread some good vibes heading into the new year and you know talk about stuff that i dealt with that wasn't that great but you know put a positive spin on it and hopefully that's helpful to people in some way um so yeah guys like hope you all have a happy new year let's all like be awesome next year in 2024 and beyond so yeah happy new year peace